kitchen is always so messy. <laughs> and they got some real black smelly folk out of the door. How come you're not slight when I'm a fan and flop by your face? <laughs> is it true your sister come back? I hope she got fairer. I mean, she was so dark, like almost black. Just like you dumb. <laughs> Tom, I just came from Georgetown. I bought a new microwave and a new blender. And we hope you get a new brain too. <laughs> By the way, Faith, Michael got a school? That might come over here this morning and he's gonna cry. He said his stepfather made breakfast for him and left for work. And when the little man did for bed, he said your next friend come out from inside the world. You wanna eat out the food? That wardrobe got a good stand up there. <laughs> Michael like to talk too much. It's the same reason I left his father. You know his father used to tell people that I, Faith, am unfaithful? <laughs> How can that be? Faith is my name. I, I mean, Faith is my name. And I'm faithful to all the men I meet. <laughs> Don't you man, Frank! Bobby! And I am young enough to be your younger sister. <laughs> I used to sit with Michael's father when we first got married and watch you grow up since you were a boy. And you ain't grow up too bad, you know. Not grow up too bad? Bodhi, how was she mean? Got to in line for become husband number eight. You feel nice, bye. But if me now I'm married, me just want to be your friend. The friend is more long. Mm, she got more friends than the national voters list. You like people? Can't come take all your meter and throw them in the camera and for the fish I'm going to use for answer. <laughs> in our work, I'm going to come tell you about Steve Corrin. If my Steve Corrin, how come they like me to come 20 and 30 thousand every month? And me only give a half a French and a black and white color team.
cut off your light for stealing electricity? What are you going to do next? Serving Carol, stealing electricity. Just asking your sister over here, how are you doing over there? But look at you. You get so fat and, and so dark. I'm not really a lot for you. And I haven't gone anywhere and I'm still so fair. Isn't that because you live in your bedroom all the time, aren't you fit? Girl, some of us are blessed with everything. But we bring that for you. It was a sudden trip. I didn't get anything for Anyone. I know how hard it is for you. You people work like slaves and have to buy everything on credit. That's right. Everything is plastic there. Like all year gold colored jewelry. And I hear you all have to travel on some smelly, unpainted, rickety trains with pigeon mess all over it. And you know they do not allow us to send those little boys to catch the pigeons and eat them as you do. But you have to pay taxes and leave tips for everything. Quite true. Even when we use the washrooms, we leave a tip. But you don't have to bother about that. You don't use the facilities. You do it anywhere. <laughs> you are right back? Boji, I saw, I saw me when I see red, red, and blue, blue. Boji, if we did only like that much, Boom! Ask everybody when I fly all over Guyana! And she said you just pick up something and drink up? <laughs> Baldi, normal people, now left kerosene a middle of the floor for the air catch up. Credit, me still think you're wrong. But because me not like to be flipping, me vexing only the halfway. The kerosene a burn the hey, hey. I heard that the power people caught your sister stealing electricity. My sister don't steal. If she was stealing, why would her bill come three times higher than the average amount? The power company and most of the other social services that I have encountered here are inefficient and poorly managed. According to Wild Bush Auntie Baby, you had problems managing your own life over there. You know what I mean? The thing in the poultry will come back for throwaway. Auntie Baby's mouth, that was a false alarm. But somebody gotta touch the switch before the alarm goes off. Auntie Faye, that's my personal life and choice. And in some ways, America influences you. It's the same influenza that's knocked me sometimes. <laughs> but your sister has talked to me like I'm no good. Did you say sometimes, Artifact? Your influenza is at all times. <laughs> and who get flu now? She! Watch! And you better keep up to all yourself. And who don't know, man? And what I want? Eh, eh, Mukesh, come in. What you want? It's fate in here. Do you want some 
Walker. I'll do your toes next.
Is this a rampart treasure then? How are you, man? I would like to speak to Mr. Rampart. This is a Mr. and Mistress Rampart. <laughs> I'm from the power company. You see, we have an apology to make to you. When we check our records, we found that you were listed as a commercial premises and you were billed as such. That's why the inconsistency. And then there's an the audit charge against you for stealing electricity. And even that was not verified. So, we're sorry. But I have a question to ask. Who would want to report on you? Sure, probably about your neighbors. <laughs> According to the report, and this is confidential, the call came from the residence of Faith Williams. Faith? I... Faith? Look at Brad the Balanche, the black trip, and the candles, the photograph and the needle store. 